My name is Jason Holbrook, sales manager with Absolute High TN. Thank you for joining us for our video series titled The Complete Guide to Sizing Injection Molding Machines Part 2 Sizing of the Clamp. So let's first look at the different types of clamp designs. The toggle is a time-tested design that's been around for decades, as well as the hydraulic ram. But over the last 20 years, we've developed what's called a two-platen machine that has, for all intents and purposes, replaced the hydraulic ram. And lastly is the C-frame machine, which has been used in vertical molding machines for years, more recently being developed into a horizontal molding machine, but only by one supplier. The most common clamps that you're going to see in the market are still the toggle and the two-platen. And for the remainder of this video, we're going to focus on the two-platen for our illustrations. Let's refer, talk about tonnage for a minute. Tonnage is discussed in three different ways, kilonewtons, metric tons, and U.S. tons. Asian suppliers typically refer to it in kilonewtons, whereas European suppliers will discuss in metric tons, and U.S. suppliers and customers are talking about U.S. tons. A metric ton is basically a tenth of a kilonewton whereas a U.S. ton is going to be 10% more than your metric ton. And there's a good reference on the screen here. If we're talking about a 100 metric ton machine, it's going to be a 110 U.S. ton machine. And the calculations are going to be true across the board for all different tonnages. Now, the clamp has tons to consider. We made a pun to this in our introductory video. And as we mentioned, tonnage comes in kilonewtons, U.S. tons, and metric tons. But there are other factors that must be considered when specking out your clamp. One of the most important is tie bar spacing. Today's molders are trying to put big molds into clamps. And tie bar spacing is what will often drive the size of your clamp. But let's not forget about your minimum mold height, your maximum mold height, your stroke, and your daylight. And one of the mistakes that a lot of molders will make is misunderstanding stroke versus daylight. Stroke is the dimension from your height, whether it be the minimum mold height or your maximum mold height, and the most open position of your moving platen, where daylight is going to be the dimension from the face of your fixed platen to the face of your moving platen in its most open position. And stroke and how it's referred to changes on whether or not you're talking about a toggle machine or a hydraulic cylinder machine. So it's very important to pay attention to these specifications of your clamp. And every machine supplier has available for you a machine spec sheet. And in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the clamp part of the spec sheet. So in the clamp part, you can see up here, they will give you the clamp in kilonewtons, U.S. tons. It'll show you the clamp stroke, both the minimum and the maximum, your tie bar spacing, your mold height, both minimum and maximum, your ejector stroke and ejector force, your mold platen dimensions. This is the, the total width and height of your platens, as well as your mold weights. So maximum mold weight is another topic that should be discussed, especially when you get in larger machines above 500 tons. So these are the, the basic specifications that your machine supplier are looking for you to provide them when asking for a quotation. Our up and coming video series is going to touch on sizing your injection unit, why the materials matter, the screw geometry, um, specking out a machine for fast cycles for parallel motions, auxiliary features on your machine, as well as automating your machine. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got further questions, please reach out to us at the number on the screen or at the emails listed as well. We hope you join us for our remaining video series, and thank you.